today I'm going to show you how ChatGPT can help you with every single step on your Amazon KDP process, starting from finding profitable niches, then creating the interiors, and finally optimizing the title, subtitle, description, and keywords to rank on the first page and make more sales. So if you don't know, you can access ChatGPT through chat.openai.com, which is a free tool. You can sign up and log in for free with your Gmail account. However, they have just released a paid version, a pro version of ChatGPT, which is I think $42 a month. However, today I'm going to use the free version. So firstly, I ask the ChatGPT, give me 10 KTP low content book niches for kids and I ask for low content especially because KDP contain many types of book no content books low content books medium content books and high content books like stories books about any topic in life about health wealth happiness any topic however today we are going to create a low content book and specifically for kids so ChatGPT gave me 10 options 10 different options for kids for example coloring books activity books journals blank comic books story books drawing and sketching books word search sudoku memory and matching dot grid journals and so on so we can even ask for more if we want however this niche number nine caught my eye to be honest memory and matching game it's kind of a new niche to me so i searched for it to see the results and it was 152 results which is a low competition however on the other hand the rankings as you can see for example this book is would you rather it's not for the niche we are looking for it's a sponsor so we are not going to see on that ranking however this one for example a memory games book it has 2 million in ranking which is so high that means that there is low demand on this niche and here is four million and nine hundred thousand so there is low demand on this niche as you can see and by the way i can see the rankings here from amazon quick viewer it's a free tool you can add it to your chrome to see the rankings without the need to click on the book so as you can see yes it has low competition however it has a low demand as well and we are looking for high demand niches and by the way chat gpt currently at least is not updated to 2022 or 2023 it's stick to information until 2021 so it can't tell you exactly where is the big demand today or where is the low competition and so on so you should See the options here and search for them on Amazon and check the rankings and competition. However, this one, for example, number eight, Sudoku books for kids. It looks good. I want to see the rankings and competition. As you can see, it has only 2000 results, which is kind of, please smash the like button. Low competition, we are looking for 1000. However, 2000 is quite good, especially for this activity books, and especially if we are going to run some ads at the beginning. So. As you can see, the rankings are absolutely amazing and crazy. So 30,000, 8,000, 112, 14,000, 30,000. So the lower rankings, that means that there is higher demand. So 8,000, this is crazy. And 41,000. And here is 127,000 and so on. So as you can see, there is a high demand on this niche, unlike the memory and matching games book so this one looks very good so i asked the chat gpt can you expand on number eight and boom here we go the chat gpt introduced what does sudoku books means especially for kids and what can it do so it said here sudoku books for kids are a great niche for low content books on amazon ktp these books can be created using templates and filled with a variety of sudoku puzzles for children different ages and skill levels and so on and what it does problem solving critical thinking skills and so on so here's you can get an idea about this niche what is the targeted audience so we can see that it's for kids and by the way it's not only exclusively for kids there are some sudoku books games for adults so i search for it for sudoku books for adults and here we go even more results so of course it will be much difficult more difficult and not easy as for the kids so here we kind of having some ideas
about the interior so if we go to any of these sudoku books for example this one here sudoku for kids 8 to 12 it has 200 sudoku puzzles for kids 8 to 12 with solutions so if we look inside to have an idea about how does the interior look like from inside we can see here at the beginning it started by talking about how to solve sudoku games like the rules and so on if you don't have the idea how to solve it and then here you can see that there are some pro tips on how to improve your skills on this game and then the boxes for the game so one two three four and it said here 200 sudoku puzzles and with solutions so i asked the chat gpt explain the rules of the game and how to play and here we go here is a small introduction sudoku is a logic based number placement puzzle game the goal is to fill a 9 by 9 grid with numbers in such a way that each column each row and each of the nine three by three subgrids that compose the grid contains all the numbers from one to nine so here if you don't know how to play it here is how steps one two three four five six and so on so here this information you can use it or paraphrase it on your book and make sure to read it and double check if it's true and accurate so here is how to play you can include it on in your book in your interior at the first pages and then i ask the chat gpt and you give me some pro tips for the game in point so sure here are some pro tips for playing sudoku so for example start with the easy numbers use the process of elimination look for patterns and so on so here are good tips actually you can include in your interiors after the how to play pages so you can even expand you can for example ask the chat gbt can you make it catchy and can you make it funny and so on and that depends on your targeted audience then i ask the chat gbt how can i create or get sudoku puzzle sets so i'm talking about these sets here so here's how to play and here is some pro tips and here is the sets that we are looking for so how can we create or get these sets these boxes of sudoku puzzles and the answer was really clear and well organized to be honest from chat gpt so as you can see there are a few different ways to create or get sudoku puzzle sets and here are five different ways so first way is create your own puzzles and that means that you go for example to canva go to custom size and create your own puzzles of sudoku like this from your mind and make them true of course you cannot put random numbers here you must understand the game and how to create it so you can do it i'm not saying that it's too easy because the boxes are easy however which numbers should you include here's what you should work on however there is another option which is purchase puzzle box you can go to any website and purchase so for example you can go to creative fabrica for example and search for sudoku puzzles for kids and here you can see different sudoku puzzles for kids so for example this one 150 sudoku puzzles here's 200 sudoku puzzles for kids and 200 and so many as you can see here all of them are sudoku puzzles you can buy them and use them commercially from creative fabrica or you can download puzzle sets however you must double check that it is allowed to use it commercially or use puzzle software or hire a puzzle creator so here as you can see there are also several online sudoku puzzle generators that can you use to create puzzles with different levels of difficulty so i've searched for it i searched for sudoku puzzle generator and i found a couple of different sites that offer this service so for example this one sudoku it has nine by nine six by six four by four and other and here you can for example click here and it will create a new set for sudoku and from here you can download it as you can see you can click here and download it as pdf and you can even show the solution here and download it so you can include the solution on your book which is better for example this book here it said that is it contained 200 sudoku puzzles 
with solutions because the kids if they are stuck in one set they can refer and go back to see the solution and continue so here is a good opportunity however in this website you can see that before you use the interior here from there you must check the copyright and trademarks so can we use it we are going to go here on about close here and as you can see here all sudoku line puzzles are only for personal use no commercial use is allowed so it's clear here that is not allowed to use these sets commercially in our case on amazon kdb so unfortunately we cannot use this website however you can get it to get used to create it to have an idea to get inspired and so on however you cannot use it and not only that it's not allowed to download it to download or print Sudoku and distribute it. You may not place any of our Sudoku modified or unmodified on. So it's clear that you even cannot, for example, steal from them one set and modify it a little bit and you say, oh, it's mine. No, you cannot do that. So you must check that. Here is another website. And if we go again to the bottom of the page and go for terms of use for example i normally click control f and type for commercially to see the word of commercial if we can use it or not so here it's clear that all content on this website included blah 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 owned by us and protected by us and you are granted a limited recoverable license to print or download content for your own personal non-commercial use so that means that you cannot use it for commercially purposes and here's also another website however here i didn't find anything talking about the terms of use can use it commercially or no it's for this guy i guess and it's not included on the website you may can contact this guy and ask for permission if you want or if you don't want to create it by yourself you can go to creative fabrica and pay for it so here after creating or after getting the Sudoku sets and puzzles with solution, by the way, I asked the chat GPT about the next steps, which is give me titles and subtitle suggestions for my book. So after creating that, we, we should before that create the cover design. And by the way, which, for example, we will see here the common size so for example this book as you can see it's 8.5 by 11 inches this one for example is 8 by 10 inches this one 8.5 by 11 this one 8.5 by 11 this one 8.5 by 11 so as you can see most of them is 8.5 by 11 so we are going to canva for example custom size and change this to inches and enter 8 by 11 sorry 8.5 8.5 by 11 and create a new design and we can create cover design here that is catchy and unique and you can even get inspired from chat gpt and ask for ideas for cover design however i'm not going to do that because that will take a lot of time i will go to the kindle direct publishing website where we can upload our book and optimize the book title and subtitles so i asked the chat gpt give me titles and subtitles suggestions for my book and it gave me 10 sorry eight different titles and subtitles that looking that are amazing so for example this one sudoku for kids fun and challenging number puzzles however i noticed that in the title it's too long we're looking for a short one keyword title so for example here sudoku for kids 8 to 12 one title one keywords which is the main keywords that we are looking for so let's say that we are looking for keywords like this sudoku for kids 8 to 12 so for example here sudoku puzzles for kids it's another keyword we should have one keyword which is the main keyword we are targeting in our niche so let's say that we are targeting this main keyword which is sudoku for kids 8 to 12 and the subtitle as you can see we can for example use this one from easy to hard a puzzle book for your young minds so this one look really good it has some keywords because we are targeting 
uh, 8 to 12 kids that means that normally the parents will buy those for their kids so we shouldn't tell for example challenge your brain with easy to hard puzzles this, this looks more for adults more than for kids however this one for young minds it's specifically for kids or you can ask for more options or modify them as you want so after creating or sorry after writing title subtitle we are going to write the description so again we are going to ask chat gpt give me a description for the book and here is a sample description for your sudoku book for kids and as you can see sudoku kids are fun challenging it looks like so boring not interesting so i ask the chat gpt make the description catchy easy to read and persuade the customer to buy it so after that it gave me a really good description so unlock the power of problem solving with sudoku for your kids this first sentence is very powerful and very catchy and here the continuous this fun and challenging puzzles book is packed with easy to hard puzzles and so on this description is really good and we can actually use it however i really encourage you to check the copyright so maybe ChatGPT steal it from a website from somewhere so you should search for it and make it your original or you may delete it all and only get ideas and inspire from this description and write your own so after that after writing the description here you say yeah, i own the copyright here we came to the keywords and here we can put our keywords that increase our chance of getting more sales and rank on the first page so i asked the chat gbt can you give me 50 keywords or phrases people might search for to find my book and here we go 50 amazing keywords that are related to my book which is sudoku puzzles for kids so all of these phrases keywords and so on are really good we can use some those which is relevant and forget about others and by the way i encourage you don't repeat the keywords so if you have already include on the title here for example sudoku for kids 8 to 12 don't repeat sudoku for kids on the on the keywords and here easy to hard don't repeat it as well for young minds don't repeat it as well because it's written even here that you should enter keywords or short phrases that describe your book and are relevant to its content and the best keywords are those that don't repeat words in the title category or description so don't repeat the words so here all of these keywords are included in our title here for example also however i think we didn't include children so we can copy children and paste it here kids sudoku sudoku puzzle for children sudoku young minds brain boosting so we can use this brain boosting and for example fun young solvers we can use for example improve problem solving skills and so on so check all of these keywords and you can even ask for more and be specific for example ask the chat gbt please give me those keywords all about sudoku puzzles for kids 8 to 12 so be specific for example you can be even more specific and decide for girls for example and so on so then enter only the relevant and don't repeat the keywords so to, to have more idea about how to optimize your keywords to rank on the first page and avoid big mistakes that you might do check this video right here or in the description